um, all right, so here we go. Coffee and riffs. Uh, we're here with Taylor from Dawes. Uh, they're playing in Oklahoma City tonight, and um, we're fortunate enough for you to stop by. And yeah, thanks for having me. Sweat some, drink some coffee, hot <laughs> coffee on a hot day. And <laughs> that supposedly cools you down, I guess, I heard. Really? Yeah, hot drink on a hot day is actually will cool your body down. I, don't, I think I read that on a social media platform sure. of some kind, so sure. I don't know how trustworthy it is. So it's like you just get hotter so the air feels yeah. cooler to you. Yeah, maybe. the science of it is fascinating. Or you sweat more and then any sort of wind makes you feel cold. Um, could be. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, today you, uh, you brought your, your Strat with you. Yes. And I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that. What, what kind of Strat is it? It's an old 62. Um, I was playing... Our, we, we, in the last record we made, our producer had a 58 with the maple neck instead of the rosewood. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was maybe the finest guitar I've ever played. And um, I really wanted to get one. I couldn't afford a 50s one because they're so expensive. Yeah. This was much more yeah. than I could afford, but I did it anyway. Yeah. Because um, I'm in a rock and roll band. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, 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 I don't play it as much as I'd like, actually. I still kind of continue to drift towards my telly. But... Recently, I put flat wounds on it, and that's been made it more exciting to sure. get a different sound out of and stuff. Do you feel like after just sitting down for 30 minutes and playing with that, do you kind of feel like, oh, I, I sort of want to just play this tonight? Uh, oh yeah, totally. Like, Every time I pick up this guitar, but then I have th then I have the same problem whenever I pick up the telly. Yeah. So as long as I don't pick it up, I'd be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we it's at last night um, when we played. I had a buddy of mine there that knows guitars pretty well, and I was switching between this. My telly and my Les Paul Jr. and um, and I asked him. I was like, "So do you have any thoughts or you know opinions on what guitar was speaking more?" What guitar, blah blah blah. And he's like, "No, man, <laughs> that all sounds good." So it's, you start, it's moments like that when you realize how um, arbitrary it is, and it's really just like what you enjoy the most. Yeah. I mean, of course, obviously, if it was some you know bizarre instrument that that sounds nothing like these but but the the three guitars that I play are all pretty similar in yeah. pickups and what they're used for and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um I don't have all like the five weird choices of um phases. Yeah, stuff, so that that might make yeah. a difference, but otherwise it's uh it's really just what feels good at that moment, I guess. I'd imagine the the Les Paul Juniors has a little bit of a different Yeah, it's really it, right? it's a it's a lot um it's a lot have, it's like just one one track, you know. It's just yeah, one yeah. one intensity. And um, if the song kind of is loud the whole way through, then that's a really good guitar to play. Yeah. The output's a little higher on it. So um, when I when I pick that one up, I really feel a noticeable difference from the other two guitars. It's just they're not. It's not nearly as dynamic as yeah. this or the Tele, obviously. Totally. Um, but yeah, I I can't afford a a really nice proper Les Paul. So the Les Paul Junior. It's, it's what I got it's instead. Great. Man. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. Let me grab, I'm going to grab my coffee. Um, so with pedals and stuff, you know, you, you, you say you're not much of a pedal guy, but I know that you have, you have pedals. I do. And I love yeah. them, but I'm, I'm more the, like when I bought like a VB2, yeah. um, the boss one, I found one of those, um, it was actually a gift, um, uh, for my birthday and, and, uh, and with that one, I, once I put turned it on the first time, I was like, I'm just going to leave that on now. I'm not yeah. going to turn that <laughs> off. For, and we were making, I made this record with my buddy from Deer Tick and my buddy from Delta Spirit, this thing called Middle Brother. And I, just, I got that pedal while we were there. And it's, I think it's on like every song. Just because yeah. I couldn't figure out uh, when it w would sound better without it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But th And that's kind of how I get with whatever new pedal that I like. I don't learn how to um, manipulate it and and, you know, you figure out what it's what it can do like you know to use your term like find the easter eggs in it sure like for me it's just like oh that that's cool i'm just gonna not gonna touch it anymore yeah we're good that's the <laughs> yeah. sound that's what that pedal does yeah so that's how it's that's my relationship with pedals so when someone you know like when i do get a delay pedal that's really got a bunch of cool stuff in it i'll find out one thing that it does yeah. um and then i won't look into the rest because i don't want to lose that setting gotcha um but gotcha. I, that's what i want to get more into is being able to you know, to take these pedals that offer so much and then actually be able to implement that rather than just kind of merely scrape the surface. Sure, sure. 
So for today, here, you chose to, to uh, sort of accent like our different old blood noise pedals, which is cool. Yeah. Um, we really, on coffee and wrists and stuff, we just kind of leave it open for people to try. Actually, these pedals are probably the last ones that we push on people. Oh, wow. Because we're, unless they want them in there. Because it's more of a, like, it's, it honestly is just about whatever catches your eye. Or if you see oh, cool. something where you're like, oh, yeah, I've never played that, but I've heard about it. I'd like to play that. Oh, okay. So, um, and, you know, different, our friends have sent us different stuff to make sure that they're there and stuff. Right. But uh, I love that you chose yeah, totally. all of our pedals to try. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, you know, there's so many delays that do a slapback thing, but for that to have its own kind of fingerprint, it was really cool. Thanks, dude. And uh, the, that thing I'm super excited about. I, feel, I could see myself using that a lot. Yeah, that could be a, a ghosty, ghosty problem. Yeah. It, uh, it gets pretty, pretty ambient and weird. But, um, yeah, what else? What did you like about JHS's shop? <laughs> they, they, that would, that stuff is great. I really dug the I dig the color box thing. Yeah. With like the yeah. Neve. What do you call it? A Neve. Like a transformer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that, that that's exciting because it's it seems like it can be manipulated to being like a really cool wacky fuzz thing, but also something that's just part of my tone. I guess a lot of um, good pedals are like that, but but mm -hmm. I. Uh, I have a. I've never been able to figure out a way to 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 put a pedal in the chain that in that way. It, for me, it's always like I'll doctor up an amp, and and get to that to a place where I like the way it sounds. And then at that point, it's like, well, I'm not going to rely on uh, unless it's like a VB2 or a phaser or you kind know reverb weirder, or delay kind yeah. of thing that you just don't have on there, um, depending on what the amp is. Um, but yeah, like when I see guys that put. Uh, some sort of boost is more or less like a preamp or something to just leave on through the whole show. I don't, I've never done that. Yeah. Um, whereas that was one where I could see that being, maybe not for a whole show, but like for a song or something where it's like, oh, I'm going to use this for the, for the tune or whatever. So I dug that. Um, I really, I dug the unicorn thing because uh, it sounds like a magnetone amp yeah. and, and I, I love that sound. That's another one of those sounds where once you turn it on, you just, you just don't want to ever not have it. Um, so yeah, so I'm 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 excited about those two. The other ones are, are were really great, but more like out of convenience, you know. Sure. Like a, a reverb that's great, but it, it's just like a, something that I don't have to worry about manipulating. I can just kind of hit a button. Same with their honeycomb trim pedal. Yeah. So I, I dig I dig what they have a lot. Yeah, they're nice, super nice guys. Yeah, totally. Um, we love what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, we try and we try and be friends. Is there I, a that's lot a, of this? that's a weird phrasing, but we try and like. Since the, it is a small industry, so you like know what other people are doing, and um, is there a lot of uh, like drama in the in no, the pedal world? No, you sure? I mean there's a couple crazies, but <laughs> we uh, we try and keep it really friendly. And when somebody's a nice guy, they're a nice guy. Right. It doesn't matter if they're. But then there's those bully companies that. There's some. <laughs> I like their stuff too. Right. <laughs> so, um, all right, last question, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. When you're when you are in the studio working on something, maybe it's Dawes stuff, maybe it's stuff with somebody else. Um, do you find yourself ever sort of getting into pedal manipulation, like digging a little bit deeper on some of the pedals to see what they can do? Or? Honestly, at least with this last record, it's been a, it's been le this it's been less of that. Um, sure. Like even for like the solos, like our producer would come in the room and just crank the amp for that section and turn it back down when that section was over. We definitely mess with some stuff. Um, the Wem, am I saying that right? The uh, old a old the English delay pedal. Oh, I don't know. W E M or W I? -M? I don't know. I'm not familiar. It's cool. And then um, I use the uh, I used a really cool. Um, Compressor pedal for one solo, but sure. but I don't do as much of that as I as I want to. I have a lot, some of my friends do, and it, it, they, they get really cool results from it. But uh, but yeah, for me, it's it's like especially with this last record we made, we wanted to go in and figure out our tones and then just roll. Did you, um, did like you the, track it all like live? Yeah, okay. the whole yeah. record is one amp, one guitar, um, cool. sang live with the band. Like we just wanted to just really have it just bring it down to what we do as a band um, and how we respond to each other. Because we have, even though we've tried, we have yet to have a record of ours do that. Sure. So in a way, it's sort of like a cleansing of the palate and starting 
not starting from scratch, but just kind of pulling back from all the different sounds that we could explore and just and just make sure we had a record that really um, showcased what we what we how the weird way that we play together. Sure. Um, so I was so in, in so in the spirit of that, it was just the the less effects, the better, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then for the show, you know, we've been bringing in a lot of different kind of ideas just to help the band sound bigger and just kind of give us as guitar because you know when you're in a band like this that's not you, I see so many bands that do such a good job with, with beautiful arrangements and and um, and sections and sounds and stuff that you don't see coming whereas for our stuff it's very I don't know closer to traditional at least in the way it's structured so there's a lot of it's like verse chorus verse chorus what do we do now let's just do a solo and um, that, that's important to us you know we love yeah. like guitar bands and that sort of thing but we don't we don't create these new sections with new sounds. So, so what the guitar player ends up doing is really the only thing that um, separates that section from the rest of the song or something. So uh, figuring out new ways for that to sound is definitely something that's very helpful for us. Yeah, that was a great answer. Cool. <laughs> that was great.
get one of these it's fun to play around with yeah they're they're good for ideas and mm -hmm. it's kind of getting weird with stuff so holy moly <laughs> 